sugary. Sugary foods help satisfy the need to give or receive love. So when you, all right, so you could be craving something sweet. Like for a long time, I could not stop eating Skittles. Like I used to work at this department store and I used to just, at this electronic store, I should say, excuse me. And I could not stop getting Skittles. It was like one of the things that they had to like, that you could grab and take out. And this thing really did have like a hold on me. Like no matter what, if I had $5 to my name, I'm about to have 325 because I got to get them Skittles. I was buying them Skittles before I even knew I got a discount on them. And when I knew I got a discount, I started going crazy with the Skittles. I started getting two and three bags because it was like the price of one. And I'm eating them like two bags during my shift. You know, I'm, I'm sharing them, I'm showing love. But at the same time, I'm mostly eating them during my shift. And and I'm like, yo, this is crazy because Skittles aren't, aren't good for you. Like when I started eating healthier, I was still kind of addicted to candy. And I would justify it in certain ways. Like, I, I and I gotta say I was addicted because I, like, I'm using certain justifications the same way like a drug addict would. It'd be like, man, Marshawn Lynch be eating Skittles all the time and he scored touchdowns, but that don't mean that, 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 that he got a healthy mind or a healthy body. Again, the six pack or being strong or still being able to perform at a certain athletic level doesn't correlate to much that's going on on the inside. You know what I'm saying? You can still keel over, you can still, be a bad person in your mind or have bad thoughts or be negative or you could still, you know, have have a weak spirit, poor soul or, you know, you're not really that a good person on the inside. So that doesn't co body type. I'm always going to stress doesn't correlate to being healthy. So, yes, it, it, you, I just want you to understand that I'm just going to wrap up that story by saying that I was like addicted to the candy and I don't I I. I wasn't journaling and stuff at the time, but at the time of me losing like weight and getting healthier was a lot of times also dealing with things mentally. Before I even knew these things correlated, they just happened to coincidentally be lining up and me doing the same like at the same time. So I believe that's what helped me kick the addiction. But knowing what I know now would be easier because I would try to, I would catch it. I would be like, okay, what is making me want this Skittles right now? Because there's no reason to eat Skittles. There's there's no way you can justify it. It doesn't do anything for the body. It has no benefits. It only has cons. There's no pros. If you try to say, why should I be eating Skittles? There's no reason to. It doesn't do anything for the body but weaken it and make it sick. So, why am I doing this? And I already know that. Everyone knows that. But it's like, why am I doing this? And it would be easier to address because I would say, okay, maybe, you know, something happened with, with, with my parents or something and we had a conversation and it didn't go my way. Or, you know, sometimes you like, you might just need a hug or something, you know what I'm saying? And because you can't get that hug, you might go buy some Skittles because it sets off an emotion or something, or it triggers you something in your mind that those chemicals to make you feel like you're getting that hug. And that's why it's comfort food. All of these things are going to comfort you. That's why your brain tells you to go get them. They're there to comfort you, to fix whatever underlying, or not to fix it, to like put the band-aid over it. Like it's a big scar and it's like, man, go eat that Skittles. And it's like, ooh, can't see that scar no more. And that's why it's important to address your prop, your med, any underlying issues, and start to clean up your diet because cleaning up your diet can help you to think clearly because you are what you eat. You know, you eat clean, you're gonna have a clearer mind. It just goes hand in hand. And when you start to have a clearer mind, you can start having more deeper realizations. Like, hmm, like I, I've had it all the time with my friends. Like, you know, they tell stories. It's like we don't realize why we do certain things until you like go back down memory lane, and again, you wanna get to the you want to see where things stem from you got to get to the root and once you do that you're like damn i do this because in third grade such and such happened and once you realize that you're conscious of it you're no longer just unconscious of it you might be surprised you might not crave that skittles anymore you might not crave whatever oh i, I gotta go run and get a slushy real quick or i gotta go run and do this it's like why would you get a slushy and not just get a smoothie 
why would you like drink syrup when we could like why would we like a lot of these things these flavored foods like the fruit isn't crazy expensive especially if you only go in for one drink like if you just get in one frosty like why not make a homemade milkshake like why not like with you know plant-based ingredients if you get in one drink then why not like instead of drinking like syrup or one of these fake drinks why not go home and make your own lemonade or make your own homemade slushy which is just fruit juice and ice you know if you're buying a singular serving it'll be the same price if not cheaper you'd be surprised like oh i can get this 32 ounce drink for four dollars yeah if you bought one <laughs> if you bought like one lemon one pack of strawberries and you already had a blender and stuff at home to mix it up you'd be surprised how much juice you can get out of that as well it's if it's it's just about making you know better choices not changing what you what you like just making healthier choices and once you start to do that you'll be surprised like you go from eating the you go from first you address why you even want or why you have these certain cravings and then you swap it out with the healthier version and then you know because you are what you eat you start to feel cleaner on the inside and outside clearer mind you start to feel better about things things start to become easier to deal with you start to let go of that shadow that I keep referring to you know it starts to you start to push it to the back and things start to you things start to work out for you more in life so 